uh, they, they're they're certainly not ready to open tomorrow. They got a lot to do between now and the 19th to get it ready. But they have you know all, they're changing everything, Brandon. The uh, the concession stands, the uh, game rooms, what was a cafe is becoming something brand new. The seating has all changed. The carpeting, the the, the materials on the walls. Uh, it's just it's basically going to be a, a brand new theater. And this is the entire, the entire, every theater within there. Um, what do you call it? The, um, you know, it's not just it, every, every, every one of the theaters in there are being remodeled. What do you think it means to the city of Lafayette in the area for them to be able to reopen? Well, I think it, it to me, it is the the final piece of that community healing. You know, it's kind of uh, uh, like I told somebody, it's kind of like the doctor releasing you. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it, it is considering. You know what Lafayette went through, and, and the and the, the families, and of course the families and the victims, as uh, I constantly say, are not going to heal at the same pace that we are as a community. Mm-hmm. Um, but but I say from a community standpoint, uh, it's normalcy, it's getting us back to normal, and it's uh, and I think it's very very important. And I want to stress that within probably within 48 hours of the incident uh, in July, the I was talking to the, the theater owner. And he said, we want to do something special for Lafayette. He said, we want this will be our gift to Lafayette. And so that's why it never opened any quicker than it has, because they decided that, that was their, um, this would be how they would, this was how they would help. And um, by completely gutting it and completely re- revent, re- um, renovating the entire, the entire place. We're all happy that it's reopening. That's awesome. Well, let's, uh, let's show our support because, you know, I think what, what often gets lost in all of this, and I know it's not to the same level, but the theater owner was a victim in this as well. Yeah, that's the right. The theater itself, the employees, and uh, I was glad to hear them say that uh, they have kept vast majority of their employees, and um, and they're all thrilled to be getting ready to go back to work. So uh, awesome. anyway, uh, I think it's uh, important that the community goes out there and lets them know how much we appreciate everything that they have gone through. Well, thank you again, Joe.